Okay, so now I've kind of changed my strategy when it comes to the paper. I've, I've seen some uh, images and a paper that I like. I love music um, sheet pattern and I found this that I had in my stash from Glitzy Pink. It's um, it's music sheets and it's got this this image which I went ahead and fuzzy cut it which I hope to maybe put here. Now mind you this is not for certain because I do change my mind as I go along but I was hoping to put that here and then maybe this is from the Tres Cheek uh, paper from DCWV in um, that you can buy at Joann's. Um, I'm kind of thinking of putting this on this side but I'm not too certain either. This is an image I found in my stash and it is I'm do I'm going to be doing this for a, a friend of mine. Um, actually, she's a she hosts in her home. She hosts once a month a scrapbook uh, get together. So I thought maybe a nice gift would be nice. And she saw one of my uh, canvases and fell in love with it. And she said she loved birds just like I do. So I found this image. And what I'm going to do, I hope to do, is I am going to cut out. I, I cut out this uh, burlap and I'm going to glue it to the box like so, okay? With what I use to do this is Fabri-Tac glue, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going to pour Fabri-Tac glue to the box like so, just so that it'll get somewhat glued it's no it doesn't have to be any uh, fancy way you just kind of glue it like so okay that's what I'm gonna do I love um, burlap and uh, well I love a lot of things um, oops let me see I'm trying to glue it on like so so it'll overlap like so Okay, now I'm going to leave that aside a minute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my um, my Mod Podge, the matte, mat, um, that's non-glossy and I'm going to go ahead and, um, and put some Mod Podge over the canvas just to protect the painting, you know, the paint that I, because it is acrylic um just to protect it so because i have i want to use the same um well i won't this is what i'll do this is just easier i'm going to go ahead and just um put a little bit nothing crazy just a little bit to to protect the painting of it and it does glue it should glue it should dry um clear so I'm just doing the, I usually use a makeup sponge for this but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because I want to make I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can oops um, okay so that's what I'm doing just so that it'll protect it um, let me go ahead and close my Mod Podge here I don't want it to dry out and um, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe do a little bit of this just to blend it in. Okay, hopefully this will work. Because sometimes I use Mod Podge, other times I forget, you know. But this time I'm going to do that. Let it dry, and while this is drying, okay, I'm going to go ahead and work on my little box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out. Um, I'm going to eyeball it, okay. I'm going to eyeball this. I'm not going to even measure it, just because I'm trying to get this tutorial done quickly. So, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this to 
the box like so. I just wish this would have. See, this is what I like about um, Fabric Tac glue. It's very forgiving. You can go ahead and unglue it and glue it back on. And, you know, that's what I like about it. It's on most surfaces, it just doesn't. Uh, it's okay. It doesn't ruin stuff. It's just the way I cut my. Um, my uh, burlap is not falling like I wanted to but um, okay so I have that down now I'm gonna go ahead and put some fabric tag glue again on my um, on the paper and I'm gonna glue it on like so on the inside okay I'm going to glue it on on the inside, like so. And then I'm going to get my um, my image, and I'm going to cut it to where it fits in there. Okay, it doesn't have to be any specific fancy way. I'm just going to, because I'm going to be hiding this, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and I'm going to embellish with, with, um, with flowers and, and all that nice stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, I really don't, I'm not a perfectionist, really, unfortunately. I'm not a, I mean, I try to do the best I can, and if I do make a boo-boo, you know, if I make a mistake, I'll go ahead and hide it somehow or embellish over it, and it'll, it works out, you know? It works out. So, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and with this paper, okay, I'm just going to get a piece and let me see, I have some left over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink it, okay, I'm going to ink, I'm going to let this dry now and I'm going to ink the paper. Um, just to give it some kind of a, a, a just a depthness or something. Um, and what I'm gonna, uh, what I hope to try to do, is I'm gonna go ahead and put some music sheet roll coming out of this. Um, let me go ahead and, and get. I'm gonna just tear like this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear on the paper like so a few I'm not gonna do a lot I'm just gonna do a few oh I'm sorry I keep forgetting I have to be on the camera okay um, I'm gonna tear some like so okay I want it to look like a rustic look and um, okay for now I'm going to get my dabber or whatever you want to call this okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it like so I just got this dabber because the I had another one and it just uh, it just got ruined the little velcro thing got unglued and I kept gluing it on and every time I change the little spongy thing it would fall off so I said oh, it's time to buy a new one so so I'm just gonna ink it like so okay then after I'm done with doing enough of these to cover the hole which I'm gonna show you what I'm doing um this is just a sample. This is. I have the embosser, but it's just too much of a bother for me to. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to stuff like that. You know, bringing out my my tools. If they're not out, I always try to have a way of um, have a way of of you know working without it. Because when I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and this is my idea. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the 
I'm going to curl the paper like you see. And you curl it whichever way is more convenient for you. Okay. And then I'm going to glue the bottom of it like so. Okay. And I'm going to glue that glue side. It's going to go under or the back of the hole like this. Okay. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do it randomly. I might do the whole, oops, I forgot to curl this. Uh, I'm going to do the whole, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do the, all the whole, all the, the whole surrounding it, or just randomly. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, so the back is going to look like this. Okay, now mind you, I have not done anything well, I you know I haven't put the box a little box in the back yet that's later okay that is later um I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of these and see how it comes out okay luckily it's got this paper's got, um, which works perfect because I'm I'm doing the uh, pink, um, the pink tones, as you can see. So that pink on the back, it's really good. But um, and you, I should have inked the back of it, but that's fine too. I'll work with it. You will see that, um, you know, after I put all the flowers and the birds and all that. Oops. Ladies, hold on.